What's up everybody? It's Taylor Soper from GeekWire. Just kidding. We are at a golf tournament, but it, we can talk normally here. It's the Tour Championship in Atlanta, Georgia at the Eastlake Golf Club. The final tournament of the FedEx Cup. We've got the top 30 men's golfers here all competing. Uh, we're actually here to check out some technology. We, we're going to get a behind the scenes look at how tech is impacting the game from the broadcast truck to how shots are tracked and analyzed uh, to how predictive analytics and machine learning is being used to affect the game uh, from all angles. So let's go check it out. Mm -hmm. We have separate uh, uh, software that's called our broadcast interface or Brint and it actually feeds all of that shot link data that comes from the trucks directly into the graphics devices. So we've got three separate sources over on the front bench here. You've got this uh, first machine over here which does all of like the, the player identifiers, the shot graphics we call them. So every time you see a player you know, with his rank on it, you know, projected FedEx Cup rank, all that stuff is in real time. We've got the middle machine here that's uh, the leaderboard machine, which does what it's called. Um, <laughs> And then the third machine over here where Louie actually uh, will operate with Betsy down the end. Uh, that's all of like specialty graphics, lower thirds, stats, the in-game projections. So with the RF system, we actually have a CPU yeah, unit so that's doing the tracking the on team. the camera. Three, let me know when you're ready. So it tracks everything and then basically this interface, I'm telling it I actually want this ball's track, not this guy's ball over okay. here. Okay. Okay. So you see his scores, shot like laser, how far he hit it, how far he has left, actual yardage. We could be showing his group. The guy's playing with the Sean O'Hare, kind of keep track of what they're doing. And then this is his statistics and all that stuff. But what I really care about this week is his FedEx Cup projected movement. So right here it tells me he's currently in 28th position. If he makes a couple of bogeys or a double bogey, he's still going to stay in 28th. But if he can improve and make a birdie or maybe uh, an eagle or two birdies, he will improve to 25th. And that's how I can keep track of what kind of movement is going on. Yeah. So what we're doing is we've run fiber to uh, the network trucks. Uh, and we have a head-in unit that's uh, positioned in their base that we can control the feeds coming from their truck. So this week we're taking 14 feeds from the, uh, the TV truck, and we have paperwork that we we get from PG Entertainment every week. So like this week we're taking NBC Clean, uh, three RF cameras, and then some uh, T and Green cameras. Uh, and then what we also do is we take a, a return feed for PJ Live, and we distribute through the TV compound all over IP. So, and that's what we're watching right now. Is that IP return? The surfaces are going to be used at our green sites. Okay. What they're going to be doing is a how can I say it? It's 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 a visual. You you come to the hospitality? Yeah. Because there's one up there. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So there's going to be a map that that's going to orientate itself to our holes, and they're going to actually keep the the coordinate bombs. So a ball comes to rest. Volunteer has a surface. The ball is right there. Okay. It's going to be fed into our system. The shot will be fed with the coordinate. And what we've spent our time more recently doing is we focused on one category of stats, which we call strokes gained, which has sort of become the benchmark of how you measure the score. But then on top of that, we've envisioned really if we, if we put all this data into a central cloud-based solution and then run heavy-duty analytics and machine learning types of things against it, what can you get out of it? So um, we're envisioning all sorts of things. So if you were a fantasy golf player, actually having digital tools where you can interact with it and you can sort of slice and dice the data, you might say that you're creating your own stat, but what you're really doing is bubbling up for, for your criteria, who are the best players to pick for, for that criteria. So our vision on that would be Show me all the golf courses that have Bermuda grass greens that played at a stint meter reading of 12 or higher and had a rough height of 4 inches. And it'll give you the list. Pick one, one or all, say that you picked all. Okay. The system should come back and say, okay, the stats that are most correlated with success are A, B, and C. The players that have, have had the best success in those conditions are A, B, and C. And then let you sort of slice and dice your dials how much you want to weight all those things.